Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Uh, I want to welcome you to a super special episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. Uh, super special, not because of this guy, but because it's my 100th post on StayRadWineBlog.com. Thank you so much for making it this far. And if you're just watching for the first time, you need to go back down and uh, catch up. Uh, Dave, you want to introduce yourself? I'm Dave. This is Dave, the vegetarian. This is uh, my buddy, and here's his dog, and here's his other dog. We got a fake dog. one, and we got a real one. <laughs> I one. thought this was the real one you had at stuff. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, my God. Put him, put him down. Oh, you're distracted. So, it's Super Bowl Sunday, and... Uh, Go Niners. Yeah, neither of us care about the two teams that are playing today, so we figured we would have our own battle for supremacy, uh, and we'll call it the Wine Bowl. Ooh, clever. All right. So, <laughs> uh, what we did is, we're doing a little throwdown here. We each uh, chose a wine. Some of us did a little bit more research than others. He told uh, me about it this morning. And, and what we're doing is a blind tasting here. We had our wives collectively uh, pour some glasses for us, and the bottles are, are hidden in another room. And we're just going to go through and, and do our tasting notes and, and see whose wine came out on top. We don't know which one's which. Um, I think as far as numbers, mine will turn out to be number one. Um, but, you know, be good stuff. Yeah. You ready? Wait, and what were the rules? Did we talk about that? The, the rules, are, the no. rules are we're gonna taste the ones. So we're gonna start with wine number one. No, but we were told you told me this morning when I you woke me up with a phone call that I needed to get a red wine. Okay, yes. Between fifteen and twenty dollars. Well, I just said the limit was twenty dollars. Okay. Yeah, but fifteen to twenty. But yeah, so they're both in between fifteen and twenty dollars and red. And and we haven't tried uh, either of these wines before, so, you know, it would be easy for me to cheat and, and you know, get, like, some, some two-buck chuck and memorize what it uh, tastes like and say, oh, this is fantastic. I would never do that. Never play Monopoly with him. Maybe to him, but not to you guys. I would never do that. Are you ready? I'm ready, dude. Let's dive in. Uh, number one, and here's what's weird. We both kind of noticed this off the bat. Both of these wines are pretty much the same color. I would say maybe wine number one is a little bit darker. It looks a little cloudy. Uh, okay. Like it was spiked with something. Hmm. Interesting. Like sand. Hmm. So, uh, but I mean, both of them like a really dark uh, burgundy uh, type of color. Um, again, number one, just a little bit darker mm. for me. A little bit darker? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. A little bit darker. Okay. Sure. As I hold it against, you know. Your dog, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's take a little sniff here. Let's do it. What are you getting? Like, fruit-wise, I'm you know getting, getting, like, cherries and plums. Mmm. I am, yeah. Nice, not, not, not really overly ripe fruit at all. Nice and young no. fruit. No, very, very much subdued, and there's a little, a little dust, a little wood. That's his favorite winery. Look at that, huh? I, and I do, I'm, I'm seeing a little chunder, too. Wow, you went unfiltered on me. Or did you? Hmm. Is that is that your plan? Is that what you did? <laughs> hmm. Wonder whose wine's who. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah, it smells really good. And, and, you know, what I'm getting from the nose is, like, I'm expecting there to be, like, some nice, fine tannins when we go into it. I'm expecting a little bit of acidity to jump out. I'm hoping that the fact that I just brushed my teeth about 30 minutes ago doesn't impact the taste of this wine. Hmm. Interesting. It's 9 a.m. All right. <laughs> Let's go. That's bright. It really is, like the fruit, not like dried, sitting on a roof somewhere, but just, you know. It's it's bright Unripe. and acidic, Unripe. right? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Um, Definitely like, <coughs> what were you, you said like unripe? Unripe plum. 
I can get that. And I was going to okay. say like a really, um, like a, a tart, like kind of like a tart cherry, maybe picked a little yeah. bit too early, go, but, yeah. um, I mean, tastes food friendly to me, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely like some earth nice. notes. Yeah. But good stuff. Um, did you want to score this now, or did you want to taste the other one and then kind of... I'd like to taste the other one first. Yeah, because I'm interested to mm. see what the other one's bringing. But... I think you're right. This sucker, with some food, like yeah. a little cruncher... It's we'll Super Bowl Sunday, and I'm looking at all this food back there, and it looks delicious. Yeah. <coughs> Dave, what'd you make today? Oh, all sorts of stuff. I'll show, I'll show you, and I'll bring some over and wave it in front of the dog. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, that would be nice, yeah. All right, so wine number two. So, again, color-wise, just a little bit lighter than the first one. And yet dark. And yet still, I mean, like a nice dark Ooh. burgundy color, but a little bit lighter. On the nose, not as much fruit as the last one, Right? I think this one's a little bit more earth-driven, hmm. per se. I get it. This Noting one anything smells there? like it's going to be tastier, which is a good thing. Yeah, that would always be a good yeah, thing, no, right? It's, when it's a wine smells thing, right? like it's going to taste good, that's... Yeah, no, it's always better when it smells good. That's good. Fact. Okay. Hmm. Let me take a bite. Wow. Oh, yeah. Good call. I mean, um, I think both of these wines are very much food friendly, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think the first one brings a lot more of that fruit up front and a lot more of that tart, like kind of ripping acidity. Mm -hmm. This one is very much more an earth-driven wine, and it's and it's weird. Like, there, it is bringing... A little bit of fruit, but I feel like it's bringing a lot of fruit. Mm. Yeah, you guys. You, you know what it is? It's it's more of the um, I would say more of like a, a a darker fruit. Like I would say more. Um, you said unripe plum on the yeah. first one. I'm saying this is more of like a ripe plum there. But it's True. not it's not mm. as um, overpowering it's as I think the other one is. No, but painfully enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I, I, I really like both of these yeah. quite a bit. Um, I, I'm I not bummed at all. I think what we need to do now is maybe evaluate and write our scores down, and then maybe we'll talk about some other stuff before we reveal the wines. But I'm into it. And I, I mean, yeah, I'm going to go back in. And I have some thoughts about both in terms of where they're coming from. Oh, you when want to I, do that? I want to eat. We don't have to do that. But I'm I mean, sure. I know where mine came from. I just don't know which one's mine. I yeah. Mean, honestly. Um, yeah. I, I, I have a feeling like maybe we both kind of went in the same direction with the wines that we bought. Potentially, right? Um, it's a good thing. Man. I, sorry, guys. I just want to keep bouncing back and forth. It's, it's a, it's a tough... I mean, I think I know which way I'm leaning. Yeah. I love them both. Not love. That's a strong word. I love my dog. These, you like them. I like them both. A lot. And I right? think if I was just like about to have some din, yeah. this is the one. Number one. That's what I'm feeling. Like this, okay. I just know it's coming and I can just taste some tomato sauce. Just ooh. Ooh. Okay. This guy over here yeah. hangs out by himself a lot. I can see easy. that. Go now, back. when you're when you're evaluating wine like score wise, what do you feel is more important? Like, is it more important than it pairs with food? I did go to the school of wine that I went to. It was the food and wine. Oh yeah, you went to a school yeah. of wine. That's yeah, interesting. I never. It's called drinking wine with food. Okay, yeah. Um, repetitively, and it was a lot of fun. You should go. Check it out. Dude. I'll send you the link. You that, was, that was like a one-year program, or yeah, that was okay. Been, it's been many right. years. That's why I look this way. And so, <laughs> really, yeah. So, but that's the thing. I like that one stands on its own, but I also like one that is enhanced by food. So, yeah. really, I mean, what I'm trying to say is like, 
It definitely it's, is a level, level playing field. I, I picked my favorite okay. based on, you know, what we're doing right now. And I'm shading my eyes. I'm not seeing what you're writing. Dude, don't play Monopoly. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. So I'm just putting a score? <clears throat> yeah, I just wrote okay. down scores for both of them. I like it. You got scores for each I have, of them? I have scores for each of them. Okay, now, uh, speaking of scores, I don't know why. Just before I... Whoa. Before we came over here... <laughs> Uh, your statue is anatomically... He really is. Okay. I'm not going to show it. <laughs> I was surprised by what I saw just now. Um, on the way over, I was just... Or before we left, I was I was printing out some of these proposition bets. And uh, there were a couple that really struck me. Um, and I know a lot of like news organizations talk about a lot of this stuff. Um, Kelly Clarkson is singing the national anthem today. And one of the proposition bets is... You know, they always have the time of the national anthem. They're saying over, under, a minute, 34 seconds. Um, what would you take? A minute, 34. Who's singing? Kelly Clarkson. Ooh. I'm going, uh, I'm going under. She's going to be nervous. Yeah. You know? Big stage, under. And, and I think the deciding factor and the thing that they never release beforehand and by the way, if I were Kelly Clarkson, I would have somebody make this bet, and I would have a stopwatch <laughs> in front of me. Um, That's how you but, go to jail. but what I've heard is it really depends on whether or not um, there's a musical accomp accompaniment, mm. right? Mm. If there's music being played along with, it's going to go longer. Yeah. And even though they measure it from the first note that she sings till the end of the last note that she sings, um, it's going to be more drawn out. Uh, when you're talking about just somebody singing a cappella, they're going to be nervous. They're going to go through a lot quicker. They're keeping timing in their own head. Um, so I, I, you know, it really depends on whether or not she's got backups. And I think she's going to because she kind of brings like a, a, a pop, but with a rock sensibilities. Ooh. So I'm going to say over. You love Kelly Clarkson. She's my favorite. That is so She's great. She's very special. That's and awesome. speaking of loving Kelly Clarkson, the next prop bet, I love this. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Will Kelly Clarkson's bare belly be showing when she sings the national anthem? No. Choosing yes would give you plus 300. So it's basically, uh, you know, you lay down $100, you'll get 300 No kidding. Um, there is no option for a no. Oh, I mean, see, wow. Well, no. But here's the, here's the kicker now, yeah, right? Talk to me. So, of course, why would she be showing her bare belly during the national anthem? She wouldn't. But now that the prop bed has been laid out there, are there people getting in her ears and saying, hey, why don't you? Mm. Why don't you? Good point. Why don't you? She won't. She, she won't. won't. I'll she bet won't. you $100 she won't. No, that's okay. Not, okay, cool. That's okay. That's okay. Um, out there. I'm a nice guy. Do you want to reveal your score? I would love to, dude. Okay. Unless there's any more that you want to review. So, okay. We had our favorites. We did. My favorite was, you know, why don't we just point them at each other just so we know. Oh, wow. Wow. What about you? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Okay, so the loser. The loser. The loser. This is kind of scary because it could be me. Right? <laughs> the loser That's with an 89 plus from me and... 89 from this guy. Is wine number one. Boom. It was good though, It right? was totally good. Totally good. And the pizza that I'm making later, this bad boy is what I want. And I think here's the problem, right? Yeah. It's a food-friendly wine and we both agree with that and... and I'm starving. I, mean, I know. You take it all day. Uh, wine number two, the winner, what'd you give it? 90. And I gave it a 90 plus. You can't see that, but 90 plus. He saw it. And it just smells. Wine number two. Boom. It smells pretty delicious. Wine number two turns out to be wine number one. Um, now the problem is the that. reveal. Yeah. Are they here? They are here. Kara, do you want me to go grab? Oh, it doesn't matter, huh? Do you want me to grab some food? Yeah, why don't you grab some food? Are they... Are, we, are you ready? Yeah, we're ready for the reveal. Dave, why don't you bring some food? Who and food? I, I want Dave to be on the couch when you bring it out, so we'll... Did you guys hear which one we said was the winner? No. Okay. 
So, huh? oh man. Huh? Huh? All right. So huh? we're gonna take huh? a cheese, oh, Louise. Look at that. Oh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna take a look at the uh, the loser first it. was wine number one, which is Italian, and I could taste it, and I wanted a pizza. Wine number one was man. This is the one that I brought. The uh, Argiano non. <laughs> Confundator. This is a uh, super Tuscan wine spectator. Gave it a 92. Woo! I brought the receipt. Yeah. Just to prove it. $18 a bottle. No. Uh, wine spectator gave it a 92, and we gave it a 89 plus. And Dave chose the winning wine. I'm kind of yeah, kind of excited. Kind of bummed about this one. Wine. The wine that won. Wine number two. What is this? Joel got... Never heard of him. Zinfandel. Underdog. Uh, apparently, Jeff got served. <laughs> huh? Nice. Two th both 2009s, totally different areas of the world. Uh, this Super Tuscan, by the way. So, 40% Cab, 20% Merlot, 20% Syrah, and 20% Sangiovese. I'm so upset. No, I'm, this I'm is, not upset because this this is tasty. And like I said, I'm saving some for when the pizza comes out. And this is, is so good. we're assuming 100% Zinfandel. And I think it's just that that dark fruit that really, really sent it over the yeah. top. And the Very lack so of food. Oh, oh, here it is. Getting into it. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Marcona almonds. Dave, mm. before we sign off. You want some fennel? Mmm. Like, oh my god, get into that. My <laughs> so, so my buddy Dave, he's very, uh, he's a very humble dude. He's in a really neat band. Tell me about your band. Okay, here's the deal. Get into it. <laughs> Called Time Spent Driving. We have a show on March 10th. That's a great place in Santa Cruz. California. California. You should come. What do you play? I play the keyboard. I'm going to show you? Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. uh, hey, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Both of these wines are, are awesome. And, of course, I'll post the links uh, underneath so you can go get these. Where'd you get yours? Whole mine was Foods. At, and mine was at Bed. I happened to be there. How much was this Joel got? It was, um, I think it was $16.99. Nice. Um, 18, not, 1802 not on sale. It's like $3 off. So silly. Anyway. <laughs> oh, whoops. Oh. Ah, okay. I meant investigator. <laughs> investigator. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the Super Bowl. Everybody, stay rad.